In this week's Agile Game of the Week, a spooky Halloween scene. With All Hallows Eve almost upon us, in this virtual Agile game we contextualise the challenges around being outcome focused versus being output focused. Firstly, special credit goes to David Barnholt, who shared the original A Beautiful Summer Meadow version of this game, which inspired me to create a virtual Halloween themed version of the game. So when should you use this game? Do you have stakeholders, uh, or product owners in fact, who are presenting you with, presenting your teams with solutions rather than problems or outcomes to be solved? Are your user stories that the teams are working with extremely detailed lists of requirements, specific requirements? Then this game is for you. Play this game with your teams to, or those within your company, to show them in a very tangible way how it feels and what the result is when you're delivering outputs versus outcome, outcomes. The game intends to be interactive, engaging and a fun way of exploring the concept using serious play and an online whiteboard. There are clickable arrows throughout to navigate your way through the frames and we top off the game with a bit of a retrospective at the end, a debrief to help the teams understand what they've learned and how it felt playing the game. It's very easy to navigate through. We start the game with exploring what are outcomes and what are outputs. The teams will obviously share their thoughts here before we split the attendees into groups, groups of four. Each team will have their own board and their own, uh, their own brief to try and deliver to. And these are around drawing uh, a spooky Halloween scene. The way the game works, and I'll navigate to uh, one of the first boards here, is one of the team, or two of the teams, sorry, if you're playing with four teams, will be given a brief that's very outcome focused. Example here being, Draw a spooky nighttime Halloween scene with some pumpkins, ghosts, and skeletons in a graveyard. It's more abstract, it's not quite specific and detailed. The converse, the, uh, the other alternative, is the other the remaining teams will be given the following brief. Draw a spooky nighttime Halloween scene with five orange pump pumpkins, each with two eyes and a mouth with seven upper teeth and three lower teeth, two green pumpkins, each with one eye and a mouth, three upper teeth and five lower teeth. Seven ghosts, each with two black eyes, two skeletons with red eyes, three skeletons with green eyes, five gravestones equally sized with R.I.P. written on them, and one moon in the top right hand corner. Now after playing this game, and each, each team gets two minutes to draw their brief together as a group, and doing so silently, we explore as a debrief how it felt and what the outcome was. Now what you'll find through playing this game is that the teams that are given the outcome focused brief are more likely to produce something that actually looks like a spooky Halloween scene, whereas the teams that are given the very detailed specific brief will often end up focusing on the detail. They'll start drawing ghosts and, and random pumpkins and, and gravestones without actually creating a scene. It's very disjointed. So you can then explore with the teams after playing the game how this felt and what were the and how it translates to their working world, how it feels when you're focused more on an outcome versus how it feels when you're focusing on different outputs. It's often it's less motivating to do it that way. And lastly, we explore how you can su what support the teams can be given to enable them to be more outcome focused in the future. I hope you enjoy playing this spooky Halloween scene game. Uh, if anyone wants access to the Miro downloadable version of this template, do contact me and I'll send it to you. And in next week's Get Agile Game of the Week, we are doing the virtual name game. Do subscribe if you enjoy this content. If you enjoy these Agile Games of the Week, there'll be lots more coming. And have a great weekend, folks. Don't stop believing.